How's it going everybody? Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about how you can access websites that may not be available to you with a VPN. Now, if you've ever tried to access a website only to find that it's not available in your region, you know how frustrating it can be. Fortunately, the solution is by using a reliable VPN because a VPN is basically a technology that allows you to connect to the internet through a remote server. By doing so, you can spoof your IP address and make it appear as if you're browsing from another location. This makes it possible to access websites that may not be available to you otherwise. So for example, right here, I'm connected to ExpressVPN's um, USA Dallas server. And that's why on my IP finder, it says that I am in Dallas. And that's pretty much how it works. Now, what about the steps to getting a VPN? Very easy. First of all, you have to choose a reliable VPN. Now I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features so you can pick and choose depending on your specific needs and preferences. You've got Express, Nord and Surfshark. Express has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, over 5,400 servers in 60 countries with NordVPN and over 3,200 servers in 100 countries with Surfshark. So once you've chosen your VPN, I like to go for ExpressVPN because it's the most reliable and consistent and it's the easiest to use. You can go ahead and click one of the links in the description down below. You'll get an exclusive discount, download and install the VPN after you've purchased your preferred plan. You'll get your credentials. Once you've installed the VPN, enter your credentials. It's very easy, just follow the steps and then you can just connect to a server. So let's say, you know, you want to connect to somewhere in Europe, for example, France right here. We'll go ahead and connect to France. And then once you're connected to the website that you're looking for, you should be able to access any website that was previously not available to you. And if you're still unable to access the website, you should just try clearing your browser cache and cookies or try accessing the website in incognito mode or from another browser. So if I go ahead and check my IP finder right now, it'll say that I am in Paris, as you can tell right here. Now, it is important to note that some websites may have uh, some measures in place that detect and not allow VPN traffic. This is why you need to use a reliable VPN. Um, that's why I chose Express Nord and Surfshark. Um, now, of course, if you still have trouble accessing a specific website or streaming service, simply just connect to another location um, in the same country, pretty much if you're trying to access some sort of US based service and maybe the New York server is not working, just try the Chicago server or disconnect and connect the VPN again and you'll be good to go. So to conclude, using a VPN to access websites that are not available to you is as simple as demonstrated. And by following these steps and choosing a reliable VPN service, you can access content that would not otherwise be available to you. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features. Of course, they are all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with any of them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.